Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to perform a Wilcoxon signed ranks test and we're going to learn how to do this by hand. So before we start any calculations, let's take a look at some data. Here we have some sample data from Laurisens et al. from 2004, and these are uh, examples here where the measured content uh, in the wood of 13 poplar tree clones growing in a polluted area was taken in August and in November. The figures here represent the concentrations of aluminium in micrograms of aluminium per gram of wood, and this is, these are the figures that are shown here. And we'd like to determine if there's a significant difference between the August and November figures. Now we have one group tested twice in August and November, which means that these are paired data. And normally when we want to see if there's a significant difference between uh, paired sets of data, we might use a t student t-test. Uh, but we can't use that if one or more of the samples are not normally distributed. And in, if that's the case, then we use the Wilcoxon signed rank test. So before this video, I've conducted a quick shapiro wig test on each of the August and November sets of data. Um, at an alpha value at 0 0.05, I've scored a p-value in August of 0 0.071, uh, which indicates that the data are normal. Uh, but the p-value is less than 0 0.001 for the November figure, indicating that the November data are not normally distributed. Uh, and I think if you look at the data, you can see that particularly the last three values here are very, very high and that they are skewing the no November data. Therefore, it's not normal. We cannot use a t-test and we must use a non-parametric test, in this case, a signed rank test. So as always, at the beginning of, of a statistical test, let's set out our null and alternate hypotheses. Our null hypothesis is that the median difference between the pairs of observations is zero, and note that the hypothesis is based on the median. Our alternative hypothesis is that the median difference between pairs of observations is not zero. We're going to conduct our test that we have an alpha value of 0 0.05, and we've got 13 pairs of data, so we have a value of n of 13, which we are going to need a little bit later on. So to set myself up for doing the calculations, I'm just uh, removing that top sheet, and I'm using the same data, and I've added in three extra columns that I'm going to need to use here uh, to calculate the test statistic for this Wilcoxon signed rank test. So the first of these here is I want to no note the differences between the November and the August data, which is simply subtracting one value from the other. So 12.7 uh, minus 18.3 is equal to minus 5.6. Um, 11.1 .1 minus 13.3 is minus 2.2 and 15.3 minus 16.5 is minus 1.2 and then the next one I get my first positive value there's a difference of 0.1 and then the next one is a difference of 1.0 2.0 and I'm just going to fill this out. I've previously calculated uh, these values here, the differences between the November and the uh, August data. 7.2, 12.0 and we've got some very big differences down here near the end, particularly the last value 23.4, so a huge difference here at the end, uh, again um, um, emphasizing the abnormality of some of the data here. And then in my next column, then, I just need to take the absolute difference, which is simply removing any negative signs that you see in this column here. So the absolute value of minus 5.6 is 5.6. Absolute value of minus 2.2 is 2.2. The absolute value of minus 1.2 is 1.2. And then the absolute value of all the positive values here is the same as they are as far as the differences are concerned. So we've no minus sign here. So we're just going to write all of these out uh, as we see them in our data. So our last absolute value is 23.4. Our next job then is to rank these absolute values. This is why we need the absolute values because we don't want to rank any negative values but we want to rank all of them and we're going to rank them from the smallest to the largest value. So reviewing this absolute difference column here I note that my smallest value which gets a rank of 1 is my value of 0.1. My next smallest value is the figure here beside it, 1.0, so I'm going to write that as a rank of number 2. 
And my third um, uh, figure is 1.2. So as they are increasing, I'm adding in the ranks. The next highest figure is 2.0. That gets a ranking of 4. The next highest figure is 2.2. gets a ranking of 5. And then the next highest is 3.1, which gets the ranking of 6. Uh, next highest is up here at the top, 5.6, and that gets the ranking um, of... Sorry, the next highest one here is 5.3. Uh, which is rank number seven and then the next highest one is 5.6 which gets a rank of number eight the next highest one then is ranking of 6.3 which is a ranking of nine and then you can see these are all sequential here at the end so the last sets of rankings are easy to determine here so our st just to recap here for a second we our differences we are very very important that we note the sign because this is a wilcoxon signed rank test so we need to know all the positives and we need to know all the negative differences and then we need to know the ranks of all the positives and the, the ranks of all the negatives so that we can sum them so we need to know the rank uh, sum for the t pluses and for the t minuses so to do that i'm just going to use a highlighter here so I need to highlight all of the negative values that are conveniently here at the top and then select the ranks for each of those there. So these are all the negative values. So the rank sum of the negative ranks here is 8 plus 5 plus 3, which is 16. And then I'm going to do the same for all the positive values. So they're all conveniently here for me. So these are all the positive differences. And these are all the positive ranks. This is going to give me my T plus, uh, all the positive ranks. So when I sum up all these values here, 1, 2, 4, plus 6, plus 7, and so on, I'm going to get a T value here, T plus value of 75. The Wilcoxon rank si assigned rank test statistic is called W. So my W stat what's the test statistic well it is the smaller of these two values here um, so the w stat is 16. just to check back for a second if any ranks are the same so if you get uh, two different absolute differences which are the same you take an average of the ranks for those two or three uh, ranks in that case so now our test statistic has a value of 16. We now need to determine a critical value so that we can uh, compare our test statistic with a critical value to determine if there is a significant difference. So to do that, uh, I'm going to use a critical values of the Wilcoxon signed rank test table. And to check back here, right back at the beginning of the video, I stated that our alpha value was 0 0.05, that n was 13, and you can also see that we are doing a two-tailed test here. No direction is specified, so it is a two-tailed test. So from my table, the first column gives me the row I need to use, so n is equal to 13. A two-tailed test and alpha value of 0 0.05, so go down along here, and we get a critical value of 17 in this case. So let me note that. My W crit is 17. So in this case here, my test statistic is less than my critical value. And that results in here of that we reject the null hypothesis. We reject H0. And be very, very careful with this because many statistical tests, uh, if you f it, it is you only reject when the test statistic is greater than the critical value. Uh, but in the Wilcoxon signed rank test, it's the reverse of that. So we're looking for, if we want to reject the H0, we have to get a test statistic less than the critical value. So here, 16 is less than 17, therefore our W stat is less than W crit, we reject H0. So in other words, we are rejecting this statement over here, that the median differences between August and November are zero, so we are rejecting that in favour of the alternative hypothesis that the median differences are not zero. And we're doing all this at an alpha value of significance of 0 0.05. So in conclusion then, we have found a significant difference between the concentrations of aluminium between the August and November data for the uh, popular tree clones. So that's how you perform a Wilcoxon signed rank test by hand. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.